What is up guys, Austin Richo here, and today we're opening the Legion of Collector Core featuring Green Lantern here. Um, so this is kind of an interesting, bo interesting box in multiple ways, because one, I have no clue who the character or what they're going to do for the pop in this. I assume we'll probably just get another Green Lantern character, like maybe a different form, maybe with like a power coming out of his ring. But I'd be interested to see like additional character, maybe a Lantern Core character or a new um, person besides Hal Jordan, because that seems to be who they do all the time. Um, but that's interesting, and I think this may be our last box. I don't know. I know it's either this one or our next one is going to probably be our last box for this because they're stopping the whole subscription box type thing, and they're going to be in stores, as I mentioned, in the Marvel one. Um, but So we won't be getting this box any longer, which kind of stinks, but I guess you know we can't really do anything about that. But we'll go ahead and start off with our shirt here. So obviously it's a Green Lantern shirt. As this is Green Lantern, so it looks... Oh, okay. Um, I'd say it looks like it's just Green Lantern, but like one, but it, there's multiple Green Lanterns and Lantern Corps in the background themselves. So there's the picture. Oh, of that. that's cool. It's got uh, so we have what? Guy Gardner on it, which is my favorite Green Lantern. So yeah, that's the Guy Gardner. Then we have Hal Jordan, John Stewart, and then a bunch of the Lantern Corps guys in the background there. But this is really cool. I just like the way the shirt and then of course with the Green Lantern up top there that's really cool. I really like that. But it probably since it's a Fungo shirt it probably won't fit or anything which is sad but that looks really cool. Uh, so next up okay so this box is really cool I can tell you that from right here. Um, so next up looks like we have another stress ball and this time it's of a Green Lantern so the Lantern and so there is that and so obviously it's a stress ball so you can squeeze it and stuff so that's kind of cool it's a weird item because you know it's Funko but they don't really sell stress balls aside from putting them in these boxes but it's so cool that we have the lantern there then next up we have some pint size heroes which is cool we of course it's exclusive it's green lantern and we have Hal Jordan and Sinestro there so of course the yellow lantern and it's got the green lantern logo there on the back so it looks like our box is kind of opened and unglued and everything. But so first up here we have the Hal Jordan Green Lantern pint size here. So there it's just the normal classic, or not classic, but normal Green Lantern you see all the time there. And then we have the Sinestro there. So he of course is the guy that was a Green Lantern that turned bad and became the Yellow Core, at least from the movie, to try and fight the big bad guy. I don't remember. Um, but there we have him in his per uh, pinkish skin there. And then his yellow outfit there with the fear. But that's really cool because I'm a huge fan of the Yellow Lantern course, so that's awesome that we got that there. And then we've got our Pops for the Month, and this is super cool. So this is kind of what I was wanting, and I know you'll be happy with this, bro. So we have a three-pack of Pops, and we have a Kilowog, Guy Gardner, and I believe Chip. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Okay the little squirrel there so that is awesome that we did get a different variation of Green Lantern like I was hoping and then we also got some Green Lantern Corps members there of Killer Wog which is probably one of the most popular ones and then we also got Chip which is kind of a fun one since he's like a little squirrel so let's go ahead and open this so I'd say to me at least out of the DC box this is probably the best set we've ever gotten because we get not only three but three different characters that we haven't seen before and I figure they probably never make. So we'll go ahead and start with Green Lantern. So this is Guy Gardner and I believe this is what the first Green Lantern? Uh, he's actually the second. He was The ring was going to him and then it went to Hal Jordan. Oh. Because he ended up saving Abin Sir. Okay. Um, so here we have a guy with his red hair and a bowl cut, as you can see there. I like the way they designed the hair. Looks like it just be normal hair, and then they just kind of chopped it off and redesigned it there. So that's kind of cool they did that. And then he's in kind of an older style looking uh, outfit there, of course, with the Green Lantern on it. And he has some, I don't know if that's like a bell or, but it looks kind of like fur or something on the, the I was going to say that looks kind of like his... 80s 90s comic yeah. book drab which I would have preferred his uh, 2000s yeah so like I said it just makes him look old so that's why I always think he's the like original and then of course on his hand there it's hard to see but he does have the uh, ring on his finger there so there we have the guy Gardner then we have Kill Oak here so I always kind of compare him to a pig and he does kind of have like a pig nose but of course he was in the Green Lantern movie that we um, so he was in there a lot which was cool and he's been in a lot of stuff he's always one of like besides the actual Green Lantern he's always like the most popular character aside from that but he's really big I don't they kind of made him a little bit bigger 
but he's not that much bigger in size. Um, but there he has kind of looks like a spandex Green Lantern outfit or something on because it's just like all tight to his skin. And then of course he has the Green Lantern ring as well, his version. And then there's a close up of his face to see all the design and detail they put into the engravings or whatever and stuff to put all that detail in. So that's cool. And then our last character here of Chip, which is like I said, a little squirrel guy. And so he's got a similar outfit to um, Kilowog here, just same design and stuff. The big Green Lantern logo there in the middle, and then he, of course, has the ring there to do his power stuff. And then Chip, and somehow, or for some reason, he's a hide his identity as well by putting a mask on over his face as well. And then he's got the bushy tail there as the squirrel. So that is really cool. Um, so that Now, something I think would have been really cool for them to do with that is because Kilowog is a bigger character would have been to make him a six inch pop. That's what I was thinking. And then Guy the normal. And then I don't know if people can see in the background there, but we've got the tiny Ant Man that oh, came yeah. in one of the uh, pop boxes. If they would have made Chip in that size, because well, he they do make that. they do make mini pop stuff. I, that may have been what you. No, that's kind of too small. Um, but they do make the mini pops and stuff. We've got them with something. I can't remember what it is though. Um, but they do make the little versions. They're pretty much like this size. Um, but yeah, that would have been cool if they would have had, you know, three different size characters there. That would have been cool to go along with this. But I think it's still really cool. Anyways, let's see. We don't have a card again. I hate that they don't put the cards in to offer any information on this. But that's it for the box. I thought that was really cool. Like, I think they added, of course, the three pops just completely wins this whole thing. I think this box is definitely the best one we've gotten. Then we get the little pint size heroes, which I think is cool, especially getting a Sinestro because I really like him. And I just think that box was cool overall. So that's going to be it for this unboxing. Let me know in the description down below what was your favorite character that you saw out of the box. If, especially if you like the pops and stuff, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe to see more unboxings. And we'll see you next time.